Team, welcome to Cyber News. I am Russ Monasteri with My Computer Career, and we're going to talk about something that has been in the news for the past couple of weeks that is awfully big. <music> Cyber attackers took a nice vacation exploring the beautiful landscape of our private companies and entities of the U.S. government networks. How did all of this happen, right? Well, it comes down to this. First of all, who is SolarWinds, right? SolarWinds is involved with this. According to SolarWinds' website, right, they are a software provider for, quote, powerful and affordable IT infrastructure management software for Fortune 500 companies. And what they do is they monitor and manage the performance of on-premise, cloud, and hybrid IT environments, right? And I've had experience with SolarWinds, and they're fantastic, but something went wrong here, right? So in mid-December of 2020, SolarWinds reported of a cyber attack that spread to its 18,000 government and private sector clients. All right, so, you know, there's a problem going on here, right? These attackers, they targeted a platform called Orion, and Orion is an IT infrastructure monitoring and management solution, right? So what were the attackers' goals? What did they want to do, right? They wanted to spy on U.S. companies such as Firewire, which is a well-established cybersecurity firm, and the United States government. Did they, you know, did they succeed? I, I would say they did. So how did this all happen, right? It comes down to patch management. So. Let's talk about that for a second. Vendors often send out patches or updates to their software to correct bugs and to apply patches uh, to vulnerabilities, right? Well, these attackers, they located vulnerabilities in the distribution network and exploited them with malicious code. In other words, they hit via supply chain. This was a supply chain attack. Basically, they attacked the infrastructure that supplies updates out to all the customers. So instead of targeting all of the customers, they target the source that distributes to those customers. Very smart, okay? Inject, so these attackers, they injected code, which, which then created a backdoor to the victim's networks, right? Now, a backdoor will allow the attacker into the network, right? And honestly, they can take their time, right? So from there, uh, the, um, they elevated their privileges, and from there, they were able to dive deeper into these networks to spy and, and exfiltrate intellectual property. According to CrowdStrike, Sunspot, that's the actual malware. So we have Sunspot, and we have something called Sunburst. Let's go with that real quick. Sunspot, that's the actual malware, and that is used to insert the Sunburst backdoor into the Orion IT management product. So you have Sunspot and Sunburst. I love the names, right? So what does Sunspot do? Sunspot monitors uh, running processes, and it will replace source files to include the Sunburst backdoor code. Very smart, very, very smart here. Now, Sunspot also put in safeguards, so, so developers will not be alerted, right? So safeguards were added to Sunspot to prevent builds from failing, which then will not alert developers that something was wrong. Very, very smart here, very, very smart. Okay, so what now? What's, you know, what is the uh, next step, right? So. SolarWinds, they are obviously working with the FBI and other intelligence agencies, right, to further dive into this mess, right? Good luck with that one, right? But honestly, as of recently, SolarWinds and or, or it's CrowdStrike rather, uh, they had worked together, you know, uh, they are working together and they had done a reverse engineer to figure out how this all came about, right? So according to the National Public Radio. It is presumed, now I'm gonna say presumed because even as of today, they're pointing the finger at 
Russia and all the Russian intelligence and all the foreign intelligence service, blah, blah, blah. It's not, it's not, there's no firm evidence that that actually took place. But according to National Public Radio, NPR, they are presuming that Russia's foreign intelligence service played a key role with the wrongdoing. Of course, Russia has fully denied this, right? Time will speak the truth. They will eventually get to the very bottom of this, or, or they may not, okay? Or they may not. What do you think? In the comments below, what do you think actually happened, and what do you think, who was responsible for this? You know, who was responsible? That's all I have for, uh, for today for Cyber News. Very great story, keep with it, always do your research. But also, take a look at the other uh, Cyber News videos and also our Tech Out videos as well. Thank you.